welcome back to the Safa channel and I'm excited to be back for a change I know it's been two weeks I know your boy's been busy a little bit but uh, I'm back with another video so stay tuned I'm not gonna show you guys or put the wash down in this video um, I've made two videos about that I'll put the, the link up here there's two of them uh, just a short demonstration uh, how to clean a super yacht and then the other one is a full wash down of a super yacht so the very first thing you want to do when you start polishing or before you start polishing is wash your boat or yacht if it's a tender, if it's a super yacht, wash it before you start polishing. Uh, it will help you a lot, it will save you time and it will keep your pads cleaner for longer. It won't keep it clean for the whole time but it will keep it cleaner for longer. And also uh, before you start applying the polish, just give the area, the block or wherever you're polishing, just give it a quite a quick wipe with a microfiber so the products that I'm going to show you guys is not sponsored I'm not sponsored by anyone um, it's just the products that the yacht is using the boat is using um, in my opinion it's pretty good products uh, 3M is quite famous as well so we are going to use their polish and also their pads and I'm just gonna go through the polish quickly it's very simple the pads is simple it's just easy to use but as I said I'm not sponsored by it so this is uh, step number one so step number one is used for getting all the the dirt out of the paint uh, and basically get it a little bit cleaner before you go to the finer polish the problem with this step one is it's a little bit coarse okay and uh, so it's a compound polish and it usually gets all the dirt out so you can see on here it says one so there's a, there's a specific pad that goes with step number one. So it's step one. And 3M made it really easy. So they put one on the pad that goes with number one or step one polish. Step number two is to get it smoother, get it a little bit cleaner, shinier, um, also gets a little bit of dirt out and so forth. Same with uh, step number one. Step number two is labeled or marked as step two. So step two pad is going with step two polish. I do not have the step three uh, pad with me in a package so the other colleague is using that at the moment and um, this is step number three you can also see they are different colors of caps so step one is white step two is black and step three is blue so obviously step three pad is going with step three polish the step three is more almost a finish it's not really the last product that uh, you would use but it's more of a finishing product it's an ultra fine polish 3m had another polish which was the fourth polish and it's uh i think it was uh finish finishing uh, polish something like that but i think they discontinued it so we don't have that here so instead of using the fourth finishing um, polish 
the captain said we're just gonna use uh, all K. Um, you don't know what's all K. You want to be a Deccan, you should go look that up. Or I think it is in my other video where I did products. I think it's in there. It's more than a year ago, so I'm not too sure. But go check that video out. Um, Super Yacht products or something like that. I'm not entirely too sure. So the machine pad won't be able to cover this. Um, if you go too close to the edge, then it's gonna get stuck and just spin all over the place and it will rip out of your hand. Machines are quite powerful. So what I do, I still use the polish, step two. I get a rag. And I put some polish on it. So you can see, it's just like strips on the starboard side. It's on the port side as well. So the machine pad won't cover that or fit on there so I just do it with hand let it sit for a bit and use the same rag there you go so I do this with all the um, narrow spaces and the edges like this for instance as well see this edge so the pad won't be able to cover that so I uh, did that with the hand as well and yeah so I'm gonna do the rest of these and then I'm gonna do the black as you can see still watermarks but the machine will take that out uh, and the pad will fit in here so I just want to demonstrate the pad so as you can see it won't even reach the corner and I can't go any further if you go like this it will just spin out of my hand I just want to show you the difference this uh, polish makes so this is some uh, dust and water marks and this is black paint obviously as you can see um, so imagine you have a black yacht <laughs> so this is what it's gonna look like if you don't clean it often so um, you put a lot more effort into yachts that are black uh, whereas the white you can get away with a little bit, so still need to polish this. Step two. So this is after it's polished and then on the around the corner I didn't polish so uh, you'll see the dirt or supposed to see the dirt all the watermarks spots so when we polish the boat or the yacht we polish everything 
everything that is paint we polish so that means we're gonna polish the decade so you get a benefit out of this okay when you polish you obviously go like this from down to up and what that does is it works your deltoids your trapezius and a little bit of your upper chest okay so you get a little bit of a workout when you do the decade polishing and the machine is probably I guess two two and a half kilograms I don't know how many pounds that is I guess like seven pounds more or less six pounds so you get a good workout so actually two benefits you clean and polish the decade and you get a little bit of exercise so let's start with So yeah, you can see it's a little bit of dust or dirt and that's just from the uh, condensation of the water in the morning and sometimes also rain when it's raining. So before you polish this, just give it a quick wipe with a microfiber. You s you'll still see it's a little bit dirty but that's fine. And the only reason I do this is so that my polishing pad does not get dirty. And then it lasts a little bit longer. So when it's dirty, you'll see the paint gets dirty as well as your polish. And how I apply this is two ways. So you can use a microfiber or any cloth rag, put some polish on it, and then just apply it on there or you can put it directly onto the pad put it directly on the pad and work in little blocks so you know where you are with polishing so that you don't miss anything that's a number one reason and second reason is don't let this uh, polish get dry. Shiny. That's 
that's it for now guys thank you for watching i hope to see you next time please don't forget to subscribe tell your auntie your uncle your goldfish your cat your dog who else your plant just make up an account and subscribe cheers